When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Another video. You know. All right, before we get started, make sure you follow my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Tehran underscore Beckham. Link will be in the description and in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Get some Apex Legends gameplay. Uh, we got another video today. Tehran Beckham, Natty or Not, from Greg Dushitty. Uh, a reaction video, pretty much. I'm just going to be kind of analyzing what he's saying and uh, just kind of giving my thoughts and facts about the situation because I feel like a lot of people don't know what's really good about me. All right, you guys know why I'm here. We got Jafar's bird here with a video about me, about being natural or not. So I'm here to kind of just analyze, react to what he has to say. And uh, that's pretty much it, yeah. So we're just going to, it is what it is. Oh, everyone thinks I'm a liar. <laughs> prove it. <laughs> you prove can, it. in fact, prove it. Let's I'm go Beckham's. look at it. I'll never understand why this is unnatural. It's I, not like I'm big and ripped, but okay. That's not big and ripped. It's, it's, it's not big and ripped. I have a six pack. I'm swole, but it's not ripped. Like that, that, this muscular definition down here, that's ripped. I'm not big here. I was like 205 compared to the 235, but you know, five pounds of ripped muscle at 511. Voice is not so like annoying. I'm big, you know, I'm like, I'm a little pipsqueak. You know, I was probably bullied when I was a kid. You know, I can only jump 44 inches off the ground. So like I said, you see me with a shirt on benching. It's not like I have my shirt off and I look hella ripped or whatever. Uh, benching 500 pounds, like I'm swole. Yeah, I got muscular definition. You know what I'm saying? Like everything's capped and stuff. Like I look good. I'm not ugly, but I ain't ripped, you know what I'm saying? I still have a muscular build. That's just how I'm built, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's just a bunch of spewing, just a bunch of non nonsense. Like, in a photo, of course, it's going to look good. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm adding structure to it, making my, my abs look a lot deeper than they are, you know what I'm saying? And there's depth to it when it comes to a photo versus a video. You show me a video doing that same thing, then... What? Man, I'm not big and lead. No, I'm just way bigger and stronger than almost everyone in the world. But it, it, it's small. I'm skinny fat, you know. I'm only single digit body fat and able to bench press more than the world record. So if I was a bench press more than the world record. First off, bench press more than the world record is not it's not me. You know, simply because KG plates hurt a lot. They weigh differently. They weigh the same and different at the same time. If you know, if you lift weights and you lift at both of them, you'll understand that KG plates are way different than just regular gym, go in there, grab a 45 type of plates. Now, everybody knows that when you go to Bradley Marge gym, for some freaking reason, you just PR. It's just easier to lift weights there. When I go to my regular gym and no limit, whatever my numbers go down about, 10 pounds 10 to 15 pounds or so but i still push about 500 pounds you know almost any time i can push 500 pounds almost any time of the year for the last i don't know how long how long i've been stuck at 500 pounds i've been stuck at 500 pounds for like the last four to five years you know what i'm saying so you know i have to give i can definitely push 450 minimum 450 any given day of the year point blank no matter what weight, I'm, I mean, I don't know about no matter what weight I have, because I haven't been below like 220, let's say, in freaking, I don't know, like in years. So anyways, it's on, ge on gear. Why wouldn't I just up the dose, get hella views on all my lifts and PR all the time? Oh, that's right. Because I don't take anything. Um, that's really that's what you think why don't i just up the doses what if you already did up the doses that's the, i mean that would obviously be the, the the easiest answer to say you could just already think that i'm on something and i could just go up a little bit but maybe i'm already on the dosage that's what he's saying all right bro cool i'm already up the dosage still being at the same still looking the same for the last I don't know how long, five to six years, still being at the same numbers for these last years. Bro, I've been benching 405, 400 plus since I was 19. Since I was 19, bro. And I'm still stuck within that 100, 100 pound range. Like, come on, bro.
Come on, bro. Have you just upped it over? By the way, I'm 28 right now. I'm 28. So. Oh, sis, you'd be like a Carl Dredd. Right you there. for fun. You know, after doing a few backflips. I, I do. I do this for fun, bro. Like, I think a lot of you people really take on my fitness love or a hobby or you know my my interest in fitness a little bit too far than what it is like i'm not into fitness to the point that i, I want to compete in a weightlifting powerlifting competition bro i don't care like i see people who lift hell of lots of weights all the time bro like i just i don't care you know what i'm saying i'm all in all of my videos i'm always like yeah you can lift weights but what can you do can you move can you run can you jump what are your athletic abilities because i don't care about weightlifting on that scale to be doing all that but for me it's what gets the views here and there so occasionally when i'm feeling pretty good or whatever and i just want to go for a heavy lift i go for it remember when i used to go to her for a heavy lift like every freaking week i got tired of that so i just stopped i class power lifter and not natural so clearly and not Terrence natural. is really affected by play for days video imagine when he sees mine let's see what he commented more and more, I realize I'm just not going to win this battle. Well, you're, not. You're not going to win this battle unless you enter drug tested competitions and pass and then oh. say, hey, look at my Interesting. Results. I'm natural. I pass a drug test. Interesting that he says that because. This is what I think. I think he cycles on and off, and he has, in fact, competed in drug-tested powerlifting competitions. Does that automatically mean your natural fiesta show that's drug-tested? No. You can actually cycle off what you're on, pass the drug test, compete, and then cycle back on after. And admit it. The time of the cold, for example. Do you think there was a lot of competitions going on? Not making any sense here. Honestly, I think a lot of people that listen to this dude... He's just, honestly, I went back to his videos and where they were more informative until he became a view whore. And now everything's just about drama and trying to make whoever look bad or trying to make some type of reasoning because of his own genetics. And honestly, I would never want to look like this dude. You guys might have. I don't ever want to look like that. I don't like how his muscle insertions are or how whatever this ripped, veiny look. It's not my type of thing. So that's like one indicator. Like for me, I just not... I'm not trying to be crazy muscular. I want to be just enough for me to look good, to be strong, to be athletic. That's a simple thing. And a lot of times when I say something about, you know, I'm from Texas, you know, that that's how we do things. And people are like, oh, here's another one. He's from Texas. He's still on the Texas batch. Like, bro, like, why do you think they teams, college teams, get their athletes from California or Texas or Florida, Oklahoma, the South, because we train different. A lot of you guys elsewhere don't train how we train. You aren't forced to play sports and constantly be better like we have been from our parents because they want us to make it to the pro leagues or whatever so we can take care of the family, all that bullshit, blah, blah, blah. You don't have that. You didn't have that pressure that a lot of us athletes in, in our younger days had you don't have that somebody like this doesn't have that so he doesn't understand he doesn't understand why i have the abilities that i have right now you want to say that at 19 you know or 18 whatever i was running a 4344 because of steroids i was benching 300 to 400 pounds you know uh, around that because of steroids you know what i'm saying i long jump 22 feet because of gear in high school bro junior year sophomore year you know what I'm saying? These are abilities. My calves, my calves, these bad boys, this is steroids right here, bro. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm built like this, bro. This is just how it is. He's not simple as that. And when somebody's not, and when somebody wants to take something that seems so unnatural, and they, they, they want to look at themselves and be like, well, why am I not built like this? Why am I not gifted like this? That's just how it is. You might be gifted in somewhere else that I'm not. But in this situation, when it comes to athletic ability, athletic ability and build, this is where I'm strong at, right? So just take that. And people who say that, well, he's lying to everybody because he's trying to sell, sell stuff to you. And so, he, you know, telling people you, you can be like him. I, you, will never, you will never in my fitness career ever hear me say that you can get like me. Even with my programs. I specifically say, you cannot build what I have built. All right, that take this took this took years 
of, I know you hate to say, hear this, hard work, dedication, a lot of pain, a lot of blood, sweat and tears, seriously. But with my programming, I can help you try to better what you already have. I'm not going to try to better you to get towards like what, what I am. No, no, it's just not going to happen. But I can help you as much as I can to better what you have already built. And that's what I go by. I try to help people build what they already have. I've never given anybody the reason to try to be like me, period. But anyways. Test you at competitions. If you enter the USDA Powerlifting Federation and you're at the world class level, they can come drug test you at your door. Knock, knock, 6 a.m. Hi, we're here to drug test you. Hard to pass a drug test when it's unannounced. You really want to prove to the world that you're natural? Then do something about it rather than comment everywhere and complain and say, oh, everyone thinks I'm a liar. Prove it. You can, in fact, prove it. When I competed in powerlifting, I can, in fact, prove it. I, I don't know. You say I should do this, but then again, you just said that if I do this, I'm still probably not a natural. So what the hell's the problem? I set a national record, a world record. You had to pass the drug test 14 times. Every time I'd set a record, I'd pass the drug test. It helps prove, oh, you might not be natural. Yeah, well, how did you just pass the test the day of the meet? You set the record and they test you right there. Or what? He's continually contradicting door, himself. Knock, knock, knock. It's just... Pee in this friggin' cup. You go, hey, right. if, you, if you're off by five pounds, we'll forgive you. They'll test you. What y'all gonna say now? Just because I'm a freak? Just because I'm this strong? Develop and then on top of that, once again, I don't use KG plates. So I have no idea what my KG strength is. And there's a big difference. Like, I've used some KG plates before in the past where I've deadlifted 7, you know, 35. And then I go on a stiff bar. And de a stiff bar at that. I use a Texas deadlift bar. A stiff bar at that and deadlift. I'm barely scraping 700 pounds with a stiff bar and KG plates. There's a huge difference, but once again. developed a lot earlier than the majority of people, which has led to how I am now. How many people can say they've been doing some time of fitness training consistently before becoming a teenager? Coach Greg began lifting as a 10 year old. By 13, I've benched 232 pounds. This is, this is the problem. He's talking about f some form of like fitness, like weightlifting. Thing about me is I was built off of explosive movements. I didn't even, matter of fact, I didn't even touch weights. I wasn't even like straight up weight training at that age. We were doing explosive movements training like athletes. This is the difference between me and him. When you focus on just being a bodybuilder and lifting weights and that's pretty much it with no, no explosiveness, athletic background, you just end up looking like a bodybuilder. I don't look like that. I don't look like this dude. Straight up, I'm built like a, uh, Trent Richardson. Trent Richardson, a freak of nature, monster. Same strength, pretty much the same strength, actually stronger in the hand clean and uh, power clean, whatever, and squat. And he's just built big, you know what I'm saying? Abs, swole as hell. Natural guy. So I don't understand what this dude is trying to get at right now because you've had a bodybuilder lifestyle. I have it. I didn't get into the whole bodybuilder stuff until I was like 21, 22. You know what I'm saying? I was just lifting to continually try to play sports back then. Even when I was 19, 20, you know, uh, 19, 20 and up to 21. And this, this is the difference. You got to understand. This is why I preach about being training like an athlete. You have more benefit in the long run, especially starting from a young age, because I have, I have not only athletic ability, but the base built that I've built from the years, you know, if I did hop on something, I would end up looking better. Simple as that. Simple as that, bro. My brand does not do good enough for me to be sitting here wasting my life, my health, on taking drugs, bro. On the real, I just be here trying to gain, bro. I seriously just be here trying to just do my game shit, do a little fitness content for the YouTube just to keep it alive, which is doing horrible, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm risking my health for what, 10,000 views a video? Sure, bro, whatever. This is exactly why I made another channel that really doesn't have to do with fitness so I can get out 
of this lifestyle, this fitness lifestyle that everybody thinks that I'm so deep in. Like, bro, I love to work out. Cool. I mean, it's great. I love to work out, but I do not take it that serious. Why don't I power lift? Because I don't care. And he mentions, let's go. How much were you mentioned, Terrence? Terrence? I say his name right there. This dude's yeah, such a dude. <laughs> Greg Dushitty. That's what your name is from now on. Than most pro bodybuilders. The You're most pro bodybuilders. Bro, this dude is just spitting out Let's straight up ass, just, just fat. Like like this, these aren't right. facts. I'm not overly vain. All right, let's talk about this, bro. I'm so tired. Like, even the last guy. You're using the video. This is the, the exact first video I made about me, you know, talking about being natural or not. This is the first YouTube video that I made years and years ago when I first started YouTube. And this is how I reacted to it. So if you're judging me off of this video that I made a long time ago for the first time, that I was dealing with all of these steroid accusations and he was like, oh yeah, I hear it in his voice. He's such a dick and what else? You're like, you don't know me, bro. You really don't. I'm chill and cool with everybody and you have to really press me the wrong way. Like even Greg, bro, honestly, you're a dick, but what's good? You know what I'm saying? Kenny KO made a video with me about me years ago and me and him, cool. You know what I'm saying? If you're just talking just to be talking, like, you know, you just want to get some views, cool, admit that. But if you really got an issue with me talking about I'm, I'm natural and stuff and really got a problem, you know, I mean, what's up, bro? Like, what, what you trying to say? You know what I'm saying? You really coming at my throat. And you really don't have nothing on me you, but to say, oh, get on a powerlifting meet. But yet you say somebody from Russell or he that he he does it all the time. But yeah, you still claim he's fake natty. So make, make, make it make sense for me, my guy. Make it make sense for me. You feel me? All right, let's continue on. Don't back to everyone be natural right because all bodybuilders that yeah. when i say it's just the lighting once again that's for photos for photos simple as that and some of his uh strength feats are some of the most impressive i have ever seen especially for a natural so in this caption the most recent update a few days ago is he started uh, a cutting phase i'm gonna cut down to it it's shredded 225 but yeah i'm small and not ripped you know because i'm just a skinny fat this is a f to me 225 is smaller i mean I, I'm, i've been I'm, I'm normally 230 235 year round so going 225 is smaller for me just 225 to me because i'm around big people so 260, 80, those are big numbers to me. When I'm at the 220, 230, those are like the lean, you know, athletic build type of numbers that I've always been around that I see with football players and stuff, period. So when you're a bodybuilder, you don't understand those things. Physique, a lot of guys on gear are never- Bro, this is a professional photo shoot. The thing's been like freaking, freaking uh, edited in and whatever. This is literally a professional photo shoot for a supplement brand, so yeah. They're gonna edit that joint. I mean, I'm amazing. I have abs though. I have arms. I, I am blessed with arms, right? I'm not blessed with traps. I, I, I can't build traps for the, to save my damn life right now. And I'm talking about, I hit them joints religiously right now. And I'm still trying to build some damn traps, but cool. No, you're not. If you take steroids, you're lucky to look 10% as good as this. This is redonkulous, and his strength is even more redonkulous. You know how rare it is for a guy to bench press over 500 pounds? Steroids or no steroids? There's only a handful in the friggin' entire country of Canada. I was lucky to be one of them, and I wasn't, in fact, natural when I did it. I, I benched 451, Natty, and that's... He benched 451 natty. Bro, this is what I'm talking about, bro. This man benched 451 natty. He didn't bench 500 natty, but he benched 451 natty. And yet he coming at my neck. Like his genetics are better than mine. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 100%. They're not. You know, you don't have, he doesn't have that explosive power that I was gifted with. He doesn't have that build that I was gifted with. Straight up. Now, 450, whatever you said, that's a good number. It's a great number. You should be thankful, happy. But guess what? He probably, he didn't continue on being natural to see where he can really get. I don't, I mean, I mean, as far as I know, I don't know. Maybe he could have got to 500. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he could have. You put on a little bit more weight and you should be able to put up some more numbers. Simple as that. You know, did you just try putting on 10 more pounds or something so you can bench more? Because you know that's what kind of happened with me when I benched 520. I was up to I was up to 240 something pounds. 
That was the heaviest I ever been. I was two four. I was like two forty five to two forty eight. That's the heaviest I ever been. Literally, I just was just been eating whatever lately, and that was and and I was able to get that five twenty. That's the reason why I was able to get five hundred and twenty pounds so easily, right? But after that, I, I went on vacation. My cortisol's chilled out. I've relaxed. My water weight went down. My weight has been went going down as well. I'm not 248 now. I'm 236. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 236 now. Can I still press 500? If I feel like it, I could probably still press 500. 520 that easily? I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm honestly not sure. And when you have on 10 extra pounds, it helps tremendously. So 10 extra pounds helps a lot with your strength. Just to let you guys know. But but for this guy to compare himself to me is a joke because you don't have the abilities, the things, you can't do the things that I can do aside from, you know, press some weight. You can't jump like I can jump. You can't, you can't run like I can run. You're not athletic like I am. So I don't know what this guy is getting at trying to compare himself to me. And this is not me sounding like a dick. This is just me being very truthful to the situation. Simple as that. National record. It's more than almost anyone any weight class. Be natural and, and also to add on if he's talking about powerlifting uh put, pushing that weight on a powerlifting stage with kg plays then then more kudos to you bro because once again i don't know what that really feels like i don't have that experience when i hit 405 on kg plays that shit felt heavy as hell that it felt heavy so i'm not sure what i can do but back to what i said we built different better than everyone in the world at the same thing so first off i'm not better than like everyone in the world i know plenty of guys built the same that i went to high school with that i knew in other high schools in college that can push the weight that can run that can jump they had they were just gifted athletes and now that's the thing about social media nowadays a lot of people don't see these people because they have regular jobs they work out here and there and they're not you know, a fitness personality like myself. Not everybody wants to be out there and be seen, even though they're genetic freaks. So they might have a good job that they just, they don't, I, I prefer, I, I tell you, yo, stay out of this. If you making good money, stay out of this industry because it's total whack shit, bro. Real, real talk. Years old on the magazine covers, looking like a freak already. Does that look like a guy who's natty to you? He usually puts up a bro. I'm 19, bro. I'm 19, broke, working best. What, what, what was I doing at this time? I was working at Best Buy. I'm 19, broke, working at Best Buy, living with my sister. And you think I'm going to try to get some dough for some damn steroids, my guy? Come on now. Come on now. I didn't even know. I didn't even know where you could even get them at that age. Come on now. It's easier nowadays. Back then, I didn't know. We didn't have social media to, to message somebody like that and be like, yo, I'm trying to do this, that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I saw bodybuilders and stuff in my gym. I ain't talk to them because I don't care, bro. I don't, give a f I don't give a damn about no bodybuilders, bro. I don't. When people try to talk to me about Olympia or some shit, but I don't care. I don't watch the Olympia. I don't care about this shit, bro. So it's like, yeah, I want to stay fit. Yeah, I look good. Yeah, I'm using it to my advantage. But my main goals still at this point was football. And I wasn't smart enough to freaking understand how to cycle off of some some gear or whatever to so I could pass a, a drug test for ball. Like make sense of these situations instead of stop thinking about you're you're already just constantly putting it down. Like no, nah, he looked like this at 19. There's no way. There's no way he 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 wasn't natural. Cause I'm in, I'm 19 right now and I don't look like that. That's where you fucking up right now. Cause you're comparing yourself with me and that's not that's not fair. That's not fair. It's already not fair, period, because, I mean, this is what I look like. And then you look at yourself and you're like, well, damn, I don't I don't look like that. So that guy's automatically not natural. Bro, that's such bullshit. That's such bullshit, bro. Does that Usually puts up about 40 reps on the 225 bench. So I'll show you a video of that after. But anyways, three cone drill. So oddly enough, Terrence isn't actually that good at bench for reps. He's done 40 as his best. I believe he did 36 when he tried it. Coach Greg, I actually did 42 when I was natural. I did 54 in heads when I was on PD. Congratulations. We happy for you, bro. So his bench press 
But this is the thing. Once again, you're comparing me to you when you aren't going for the same things that I'm going for. I am literally training for the NFL. You're training for a powerlifting meet where all you do is lift weights. That's not all we focused on was lifting weights in our in our training. So although it's impressive, I still beat him even when I was natural. So that does give him points as well maybe he's See, that's the, that's the problem right there. If he's beating me, if he's beating me in something natural, he'll give me props. But if I'm outdoing him, then it's a problem. See, that's just, this is the problem with this guy right here. Like he's he's not making sense. He's not making sense at all because he got two more reps of bench than I did naturally. He's going to say, all right, well, maybe, you know, I'll, I'll give him that, you know, since I since since he because he, his shit's so superior than mine that that his two reps outdo my 40 outdo my his 42 reps. I do my 40 and he he's like, OK, well, maybe I'll give him the benefit of the doubt since I beat him in, you know, this bench endurance. OK, bro. In fact, and he's got a vertical jump of 43 and a half inches. Explains why he's able to do backflips with such relative ease. The higher you jump off the ground, the easier it is to get around. Coach Gray, I can do backflip not as well as he can because I can't jump as high. I'm not genetically blessed the way he is with an explosive jump like that. Man. Genetically blessed with explosivity, point blank. But... <laughs> I'm just gonna let it go. Some of the strength rank numbers are just too absurd to the point where it makes you think, is this even debatable? You know? Anyways, he also They're tried not that out for crazy, the WWE but, okay. and apparently he made it, but he well, he says it's the money. If you're this genetically blessed and talented, don't you think you're getting a scholarship? And if you go to university and you're that good, do you think there's maybe a chance you're gonna get drug tested and, and you might fail? So seems to me Wait, what? if you can play down the deal he's so genetically gifted and it seems like he could have made the nfl but guess what he didn't even play university football why well he says it's the money if you're this genetically blessed and talented don't you think you're getting a scholarship all right so let's talk about what happened with me in football because somebody like this he didn't watch my videos he didn't watch my football video and he's really going off of bullshit right now so this is a very tough you know story for me um, I had issues in college. First off, I didn't have the grades to go to a D1 school. First off, I didn't have the grades to go to a D1 school, period. So my coach was pushing, my high school coach was pushing me to go to a JUCO, right? He wanted me to go to a JUCO, but I was like, man, I don't want to go to no JUCO. He's like, go to a JUCO for two years. And then after those two years, get your grades up, get your, you know, get your, uh, your numbers right and then you can go off into you know a big time college or whatever i didn't want to go that route so what i ended up doing is there was one school stevenson university the head coach of stevenson university contacted me he came he talked to me he um you know he brought me to the to, to the college for a, a scout or, or whatever you know you do a visit and um and at that time, my girlfriend at the time was going to that school. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to come to this school. When I got to that school, the, the, the university had just made a football team. They had just made a football team and they were D3. They were a D3 school, just made a football team. I was pretty much wasted a semester when I, when I found out I just didn't want to do that. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm wasting a whole semester with a D3 like football team. I didn't want to do that. So I dropped out of college. I was having money issues, sleeping in the car. I couldn't get a dorm. I was, I was like hopping in and out of friends dorm from my girlfriend's dorm. I got kicked out of my girlfriend's dorm. I had to find somebody else's dorm to sleep in. Um, it was a shit show of a first semester of college. Now, one thing, you know, dropped out that, that, that semester, was trying to work to make up money because I even though I had a loan I still owed money to the school and I couldn't go back to school unless I made that money so this is why I started working I was working at Best Buy or whatever blah 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 um, next thing you know all right I finally get back into school I go to Navarro Junior College try to play football there again same thing comes to haunt me they I was told I got a message 
that if I did not complete my payments for Stevenson University that I still owed, then I would, then they would kick me out of college. So I had to stop playing football to work again to make up the money for, for to, to, so I could still stay in school. Like I couldn't do football classes, study, and all, and and then work at the same. I just couldn't do that. I just wasn't mentally. I, I couldn't handle all of that pressure. So I tried to play ball. You know, I was still training with the team. Ended up dropping out again to work. Time goes by. I end up. We ended up paying. Actually, one of my my dad's friends helped me pay off my student loan to the school. Um, not the student loan, but the, the, the amount I still owe to the school so I can go back to school because I had took off a whole year of college. Last college I went to was Tyler Junior College. Everything was good. You know, student loan stuff was good. I was in a dorm. Uh, tried out for the football team. Was on the football team. Was, you know, practicing with them. They, for some reason, I just wasn't getting along with the coach with, with like two coaches. Um, but, and I'm, I'm a very nice guy. I'm chill. You know, I don't have problems with anybody. I'm very respectable. Um, so the actual team, so you practice with the team, the actual team has like the, all right, you know, here is like our combine day, right? And if you guys remember, I mentioned that I had a great, you know, it was good. Everything was good. I ran like a fast 40. They called the head coach over to watch me run my second 40. And after my second 40, I pulled my, uh, my quad, I pulled my quad and I just walked off the field crying because the coach he doesn't deal with injury. So if you're injured, I'm useful. So that was my last chance pretty much to play college ball. That's why I didn't play college ball. So for you to sit here and think that you really know my life and know my situation and why I'm not playing college ball, you really need to actually do your research on stuff before you talk about it. So um, there's that. So after that moment, I injured myself. I dropped out of college again because I was just embarrassed. And um, I don't think I finished out the semester and I just went back home. Simple as that. So there's the reason why I didn't play college ball. I fail? So it seems to me you say, huh, I've been on PDs as a teenager. I plan to continue them. I don't want to do something WWE. Everyone knows Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, The Rock. They're clearly 100% natural. So he probably went in the WWE thinking, well, these guys are all natty, so I'll just stay natty. Now he's just like being a troll. He's just joking, talking about the WWE. First off, let me explain what happened with the WWE. They gave me an offer, right, that, you know, I could be in the WWE. I would have to go into their NXT um they're kind of like trial period, you know, to learn the ropes of WWE, which was cool and all, you know, um, the money wasn't really enough um, for me to accept the huge contract that they had, just files of papers and law type stuff, you know, just stuff that I'm not used to seeing. And it wasn't enough for me to give up everything that I've already built. I'm like, I'm not about to give up, you know, all this that I've, I've made my fan base and stuff for 60 grand, you know what I'm saying? Because that was, you know, some sort of like 50 or 60, you know, some something like that. Um, because at that time I was already making, you know, uh, over a hundred thousand a year. And for me, it was like, no, if you want to sign me, like, they, all right, this is what I got. They said that we're not worried about your fan base. And I'm like, that don't matter. My fan base is already like big. Already got 200 some thousand on YouTube. Already got 300 some thousand on Instagram. You're going to get my fan base regardless. So I was like, yo, like I want like 200 some thousand. You know, if, if I'm going to get, if I'm going to be letting you guys control what I'm doing, this is what my, this is what I want. And they don't want to accept that. So that was, I backed out. Simple as that. This has nothing to do with drugs, you know, because I'm on drugs and you got to do drug tests. Like, bro, I'm not scared of that, bro. Like, make sense. Make it make sense, Mr. Dushiti. Yeah, and go for that, because why would I take PDs? Or it wouldn't help me have a better physique and be able to perform and wrestle. No, no one has actually competed. He makes the lift. He's actually com he's right. competed in men's physique competition. Competed in men's he's physique. He's actually competed. Okay. He makes a living based on how he looks. I was competing. First off, I only did three shows. Three shows. You know the reason why I stopped? The reason why I stopped competing? Because the shit's whack, bro. I don't like to diet like that. And 
and freaking the dieting and stuff just like totally i feel like it just messed up my metabolism or something yo like i'm not ever want to compete again i like that like that is like the one reason why i don't want to compete in shit again being on a diet or being on a set program is the reason why i don't like to do shit bro i just like to do my own thing lift my weights be athletic just be a monster and i can't live my life but to sit here and say that i, I competed I actually competed in PC. Why not do a testing? Bro, I didn't know what the fuck. I didn't know what the hell an NPC show was. I didn't know the difference. I didn't, I didn't care, bro. My man, my modeling agency manager was like, hey, you know, this is something that people do to try to get their, their brand out there a little more. You know what I'm saying? So I did it. I did three shows and that was it. On one year. And it was horrible, bro. I would never do that again. But I'm going to let you keep talking. If he knew on that, and he is already See? more impressive, and everyone is already and following him. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's 20 minutes. You compete in the NPC. Why didn't you enter a drug-tested men's physique competition? Once again, NPC was all I knew. I didn't know anything about competitions at all. Like I said, bro, I am not into that whole fitness, physique, bodybuilding lifestyle shit that y'all might think I am. I don't care. A lot of people that people name, I don't know. The reason why I know Steve Cook is because his YouTube videos. The reason why I know um, who the hell else competes. Breon Ainsley is because I seen him at the gym and somebody tagged him in one of my videos. I don't know these people. You know what I'm saying? I just fuck with cool people. I don't sit there and be like, oh, is this guy going to win this show? Or Because I don't care. But, okay. Why? Oh. oh. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you why, because you fail. Bruh. And he was actually natural. He Where? And he deadlifts 785 pounds. Okay. Do you know how rare it is for someone to deadlift 785 in natural or in head? This is the thing. How many people have tried to deadlift that much natural consistently over the years? How many people try? A lot of people give up. They give to like a couple months where they're not making any progress. And then they just jump on something. So you can't sit there and be like, oh, because the fact that I've never seen many people hit 785 or 800 pounds natural, you're not natural. Like, you're not, it doesn't make sense, bro. This is, you're just making all these unfair accusations about someone just because you haven't seen it before. Yes, people that are obviously not natural. Guy is getting, uh pretty riled up about it because uh yeah in that video i was riled up because once again that was my first steroid accusation video it was really pissing me off and that's how i reacted simple as that like why would i why would i not be mad at something where i've just been just developing my whole life and you guys are saying that i'm the way i am because of steroids so yeah i'm gonna be pissed off Obviously, he doesn't like being called out and... Natural. How is he not taking it as a compliment? How is he not... Thanks for doing a video on me. Keep it on my body, bitch, I'm pro... From what I could find, he has a um, 605 squat. It might be different than that. So it's about 231 pounds. Now, mind you, if he was, in fact, 250, he could easily cut 19 pounds and still make that weight class. If I were Tyrone Beckham and I wanted to break the world record on the bench, I would suggest he gain some weight. Puffs it up a little bit, bulks to about 250. I'm against bulking, yeah, but not when you're trying to break world records. I've even done it myself. He bulks up to about 250, cuts the 19 pounds, dehydrates down, and he'd probably break the world record. Imagine if he was training specifically for it, doing the pause, getting used to it, and pressing up. I don't like, I don't like doing all that, bro. I'm not trying to dehydrate all down to 19 pounds. I'm like, I don't care, bro. Who the fuck wants to go through that? You guys really care about like these big numbers and powerlifting and world records, bro. I don't care about powerlifting world records. I don't. I'm just gonna bench and I just keep going. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when I be benching these numbers, it just happens. Like I just, I don't strive for anything. I just get strong, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm at 520. You know, or I'm at 500, you know? And it's just been a cycle of back back and forth, back and forth from 500 pounds, like every single couple of months or, or years. Well, I've been benching 500 con continually for years, bro. For years. You know how many comments I get saying, damn, Teron, when you gonna bench something besides 500? You know what I'm saying? Like, but cool, bro. Uh, bench and deadlift. Some guys, they only do the bench press. He could, in fact, break the bench press boggling numbers. Even 
testing me, drug tested that is, and prove you're in fact is essentially the most well-respected or accredited. And yes, the IPF does in fact have very strict drug testing policies. So if you are now, should you? Yeah, the guy has an absolutely ridiculous physique holder. Enter a powerlifting competition and break the world record and be famous for it. How many views will he get? How many followers will he get if he breaks the world record and proves he's natural? Would that in fact enhance his Does he post on Instagram, YouTube? Why doesn't he go Remember the video I did on how to be a fake natty? One of the things is be freakishly strong, but don't enter the actual competition. That's not, that's not a fair, that's not fair to say. Not pe people aren't, not everybody is interested in doing fitness competitions, bro. Like that's literally, that's literally unfair to say. You're putting something that you think that I should be doing on me and I don't want to do that. I never did, ever. I never thought about freaking wanting to just go and just lift some weight, just like world record. Okay, give it to somebody who actually wants to do that and actually cares about that. I don't. That's literally disrespectful for me just to go there, you know, just to, what, prove a point? You know what I'm saying? You want me just to go take a, a world record bench and I don't even care? So, yeah, that being said, bro, I mean, it is what it is. Y'all let me know. I've gotten my... uh. Two videos, dang man, what's going on? Hopefully I can start trending on YouTube. Hey, everybody else make one. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.